Good to see you, Regino. How are you? Everything's okay. What's happened there in London? Everything's okay now. Well, it's very good. We've, we've, we're starting to reopen, so it's all very positive. And uh, it, it, it's from yesterday. We Pubs are open again, beer gardens mm -hmm. only, so only eating and drinking outside. Yes. But we, we, we're starting to, to go out again, to, you know, to have restaurants open. And on the 19th of May, we're gonna we're gonna be able to have customers inside the restaurant as well. Yes, and amazing. 21st of June, we can go out dancing again. Yeah, really, we can start to yeah. dance again. Wow! Yeah. Also, uh, Spanish dance, lamba. Any 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 dance, any dance. Wow, Spita! Wow, <laughs> fantastic! I like you know to hear these these good uh, words, these good ideas. Wow, is uh, something that um, recharge recharge our uh, life. Uh, mm -hmm. This kind of uh, mood, no? To see that we are close and close, fantastic. Well, thank yes. you so much for uh, this interview. Now that uh, that we start, because we want to know all your secret for the people that follow follow us tonight and and after when we um, I repost the video mm -hmm. and. Uh, For uh, the friends that don't know you, can you introduce a little bit yourself? Can you tell us uh, about you a little bit, who you are, yeah. what to do? Of course. Um, well, my name is Gabriele. Uh, I'm Italian. I was born in Italy uh, many, many years ago. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and I decided to move to London when I was 19. Mm -hmm. uh, again, many, many years ago. Um, Originally, I wanted to be a musician when I came to London. Wow. Um, I've always played music since I was a, a, a little kid. Uh, but when I arrived in London and started hanging out with musicians, I realized that they were all pretty much living in poverty. So I decided to get myself a job in the hospitality industry. Mm -hmm. And it was pretty much downhill from there. Um, so I, I've been working in the hospitality industry for the last 25 years. Um, mm -hmm. and, um, yeah, and that's what I do now. I'm a hospitality consultant. So I, I, I look after food retailers and restaurants. Um, I, I help them with new openings or with development and with the everyday running of the, of the, of the companies. Great. Uh, means from you i can understand that uh, one of your passion when uh, you was child was mm -hmm. music the music you know that it is ah yeah but uh, to uh what can i say to produce music or to play play some instrument what you like more well a little bit of, of everything obviously it started with playing music um mm -hmm. i a little keyboard that my uncle um, bought for me when I was a mm -hmm. kid. Um, then when I reached my teenage years, I, um, I wanted to play in a band and I wanted mm -hmm. a bigger keyboard. So my, uh, my parents told me that I had to take piano lessons in order for them oh. to spend money on a bigger keyboard. Um, and that's how I started you know, doing, doing piano lessons and learning actual music. Uh, but then throughout the, my, my school years, I started playing bass first, electric bass, um, mm -hmm. and a little bit of guitar. I played drums in the band for, for, for a couple of years. Um, so I've always been very musical. I always loved music. Um, I was given a double bass as a present for one of my birthdays, when I, I met, again, many years ago, um, <laughs> when I was, li I was already living in London. Um, And, uh, and that's why, uh, you know, when I was 19 and I finished school, I wanted to, you know, come to London and be a musician. Mm -hmm. um, instead, my, my career went in a different way, which um, I'm very happy about it. Mm -hmm. um, however, I, 
I carried on playing music uh, for you know for the the, the the 20 odd years that I've been in London. I've always been in bands and I've you know touring with bands and playing with. But do, bands, do you continue? Do you continue now? For example, do you play sometimes with friends? I play. I, I still, the only instrument that I'm still playing more or less regularly is my double bass, because um, um, I just I love playing. You know this big instrument, and it gives me it gives me good vibes. You know it vibrates and it resonates on my you know on my whole body. It's a very good it's very good practice. Um, unfortunately, since I um, became a consultant five or six years ago. I don't have very much time to rehearse with bands once or twice a week to go on tour and to do all of these, you know, all, all of this, to have all of these commitments. Um, so basically, music for me now is more of a uh, of a relaxation um, part. Of, you know, it's, I try to play every day a little bit, but it's yeah. that hour that I that I that I practice bass. Even though, even if I'm just doing scales, if I'm doing exercises, but it, you know, it, it's a bit like. Um, meditation you know mm -hmm. uh, for me it gives me um peace of mind for you know pain yeah. in my hands and, and peace of mind and relax and, and then helps it helps me relax is your door to the connection with the soul something like yeah. this yes yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a moment where i switch off from you know from everything else and i and i focus on on something very specific um okay. and, and, and it helps me you know You know that uh, always I ask this uh, this question to the to the guest to, during the interview. That uh, imagine this uh, uh, metaphor, no? That life is a book, mm -hmm. and uh, all the all the books have different chapters. You know, there there is different chapters from the beginning, uh, the, the different story you know, of the book. Imagine mm -hmm. that your life your life uh, is this book, no? First, give the title of the book, and after, and after the, the title of some main chapters. You know, this to have this kind of uh, let's say metaphor to describe mm -hmm. yourself to the the metaphor of the book. Okay. Oh, the title of the book is going to be tough. Um, the evolution of Gabriele, maybe. Ah, evolution. <laughs> the evolution of Gabriele, maybe. G evolution. Is the evolution of G. G evolution. Yeah, G evolution. G evolution. Yeah. Could be. Could be a good. Could be a good title. Um, well, I think you know, in terms of key chapters, is definitely, um, you know, my childhood. I mm -hmm. think it's something that I that I still bring with me, you know, the, the way I was brought up by the community in the in the neighborhood um, that I live with with my parents in Italy in, in Pisa, uh, mm -hmm. in Tuscany. Um, so I grew up throughout the 80s. Mm -hmm. um, that's good and bad about the 80s in Italy, you know. Um, but all, all, all that I remember is the good bits because I was, you know, um, Uh, I was brought up in this neighborhood where, you know, there was the butcher, the deli, the, the tailor, uh, you know, my grandparents living downstairs, my parents living upstairs and some other friends living, you know, not far away. And everybody mm -hmm. was, you know, helping out, sort of bringing up all of the kids in the neighborhood. Um, and I think that really gave me the, you know, a, a lot of the social skills that I have, you know, today. Mm -hmm. Um, so definitely childhood, or you know, uh, means the title can it, be something. The title can be something. Con, let, let's say something related with the family, no? You know, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. I think childhood is not very regional as a, as a chapter title, is it? But um, the um, a child in the community, maybe, ah, okay. maybe that could that could be a good chapter. That could okay, be a good chapter. okay, okay, okay. Um, or growing up in the community, or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, Because for you, it's very important to be also connected with uh, with the family. You have good relation with your family. You still have yes. good contact with with your family in Italy, or of course, okay. yes. My parents, my parents are a very good. Um, You know, example of relationship for me because they've mm -hmm. been together for 57 years this year, um, and they, um, 
and and I'm you know I'm very close to them. I, I speak to them most most days. Uh, they're growing old now, so now the roles are starting to reverse a little bit. You know, mm-hmm. at that point in life. Um, but yeah, no, I love my parents and they love me and I love my brother and we we we're all very close. Um, although I haven't been with them, you know, since I was a yeah. teenager, physically, uh, but we're, we're still very close. Uh, and at the same time, the community is a big part of, you know, mm-hmm. um, my community and, 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 and my network. I mean, my, net, my, my network of, of, of industry, um, mm-hmm. you know, people and, and the community I live in and the communities I work in in London, you know, different communities from Camden to Chiswick to Crouch and lots of different communities. I mean, they're all, um, they're all very important for, you know, for, for, for what I do. Yeah. As well. And uh, and after after this period, the sec- let's say the second chapter can be connected. Well, I with, think the uh, second chapter is the. I think it will probably be my teenage years, right? Uh-huh. You know, that's, that that yeah, will be anybody's like... chapter. You know, is the the, re- the rebellious years. You know, I um... you was a big rebel, really. You well, was... I, I I started to listen to metal and and grunge and you know lots of music that my parents didn't like, and I started wearing you know strange clothes and um you know and I wanted to go out party. I wanted to play music. I switched uh-huh. from from piano to to electric bass because you know electric bass is a lot cooler than piano. And um and drums as well. So you know, I was a bit of a, a bit Mis- of a rebel. the rebel. Child. No, the title exactly. can be the rebel. The rebel, right? Yeah, or the rebellion. The rebellion. rebellion. Yeah, that, okay. that, could be, that could be good. good. That could be a good title. It's very strong. <laughs> and let's say the, the 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 third chapter now, for example, in the in this let's well, say think, in the last. Well, I think that the the third chapter will probably be my you know moving to London. Mm-hmm. Um, Because, you know, to this day, I think it was one of the best choices uh, I made in my life. Because um, he, he, he helped me, although he, obviously, it was, it was a choice between going to uni, um, you know, mm-hmm. in Italy and carry on with my studies, or, you know, uh, moving to London and starting to, 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 to work at a very young age. Mm-hmm. Um, but I decided to move to London instead, and that... Um, i think it, you know it gave a very good imprint for the rest of you know for, for what it was going to happen for the rest of my life yeah. um and so i think that chapter could just be called london you know london. i think it's quite iconic it's just london you know london. um it's but good. then you know within, within, within london there's there's been i think that there, there will be probably another two or three chapters within london obviously because the you know the 19 years old that moved to london in 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 2000 is a very different person from the old man that you see in on the screen today that means that uh, like uh, all of everybody you not know, we have this kind of transformation no? we 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 grow we change uh, we have this trans- transformation and sometimes do, during our journey we 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 have we meet some person maybe some mentor or, or some that inspire mm. us do you remember or do you have in your mind some person that for you is a this person or one or more than one was something like a, a, a changing point no there's somebody that let you to, to have some kind of uh, quantum leap you know something like this mm-hmm. do you well, have some I mean- Yeah, I mean, I think I've had several key people in my life, mm-hmm. uh, both, you know, uh, in my private life and my, um, and my professional life mm-hmm. that have helped me become the person I am today. I think the, the first person is probably my piano teacher mm-hmm. um, that I met at a relatively young age. It was my, uh, my very, very early teens. Um, not even, I must, maybe I was 10 or 12. Um, And he, you know, introduced me to jazz music and introduced me to, you know, to, mm-hmm. to, 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 to cool music rather than just, mm-hmm. you know, playing piano. So I think it was, it was definitely my first, you know, my first mentor. Um, I, uh, I've had, I can't think of any teachers at school. I mean, all of them has had an impact, but no, none of them has, has stuck around for, you know, for as long as my piano teacher. Um, But then once I, I moved to London and I started working, um, that I, had, I had the luck to, to work with in a, a few inspiring managers. 
mm-hmm. um, that, that I'm still in touch with today and I still talk to them on a regular basis. Um, and since my self-employment uh, six or seven years ago, um, there's been a, uh, a couple of key, uh, of mm-hmm. key people um, that, I, you know, that are my mentors today on my, you know, my, on my professional life. Mm. And, and uh, uh, yes, uh, and to be uh, today, uh, let's say, uh, active every day, to be healthy, do, do you have some, some uh, daily uh, rituals, something that uh, uh, you, you use uh, to, let's say, optimize your life, feel your energize it or to recharge your battery do you have some kind of uh, trick or some something that uh, can be very interesting to know well I, i don't think it's a trick um but i just i just i train every day i wake up mm-hmm. early um and i go down to the park and i um, i do my my training routine which is mostly gravity training mm-hmm. so i use my body weight to um Um, you know, to exercise. Um, and this is fairly recent. It's something that I've been doing for the last, what, 12, 13 months now. Mm-hmm. Um, however, before that, I, um, I used to swim a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, I used to, I had asthma when I was a kid. So my parents took me, on the advice of the doctor, took me to, um, to swimming classes when I was five or six. Um, and I've always been swimming, um, new competitions, you know, as, as I was growing up. So uh-huh. it, that stayed with me. Uh, and it's something that I used to do before doing gravity training. It was something that I would do regularly to keep fit. Um, but now this, you know, this, this, this training routine is because, you know, because of, 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 the, uh, of COVID and lockdowns and everything else, it gave me the chance to, to create a, a more solid routine. So every morning at 6.30, I wake up and I go down to the park, whether it's snowy or sunny or whatever it is. And, I, uh, and that keeps me in shape and keeps me, you know, focused. Are you a competitive person? Do you like to compete? I, I, I like to compete. I've always been, you know, as I said, competing and doing competition in swimming or, you know, or, Um, I th- but I wouldn't call myself a competitive person. I, obviously, obviously I, you know, I like to, to bring home good results, um, uh-huh. but it doesn't necessarily have to be you know, a, a, a win all the time. Actually, I'm a very good second. I'm an excellent second. Ah, because you are generous. <laughs> you, you always you give uh, the first place to another I'm, person. I'm, I'm generous, exactly. Oh, But, you know, I, I think we've, we've had this discussion before. I think as long as you, you know, you bring something home from, from something, even from, you know, it doesn't have to be a second, you know, yes. place. It could, be, it could be a total loss as, as long as you bring something home, then it wouldn't, you know, it's not, it's not a total loss after all. Absolutely. You know? it's impo- what is important is to learn the lesson and to grow, for sure. Mm-hmm means for you for example the comfort zone you know for you are you trained to let's say to stretch out of the comfort zone for you for example when you have challenge uh, in some way you have a positive attitude in your mind yes you have a good mindset in this direction what do you think well i think you know it's good to um i think i, I, I get out of my comfort zone on a, on a regular on a regular basis it's i um Um, I, I like to, you know, to, to improve myself and improve what I do. Mm-hmm. Um, um, so, it, it, you know, it, it, you, you have to get out of your comfort zone and, and, and try something that you, you know, that you haven't done before in order to, to grow, right? Yes. Yeah, get, you know. yeah because My also fail. the beginning, uh, I, think, I think that the beginning was also your journey uh, outside Italy because normally the... The average attitude of the uh, Italian are not to, to, you know, to escape or to go a- abroad because it- Italy is so beautiful, you know, the, all the Italians want to remain in Italy, you know? There is that only few of us, you know, because also mm-hmm. I live in Budapest, you know, only few of us say, 
why not let's to try you know it's all the world you know <laughs> not mm-hmm. only this amazing beautiful country but yes to test us no how how can be a different taste no to see also how if you are strong if you are able to you know to create also outside no the, the comfort zone yeah mm-hmm. means that But... yeah you are tough Well, you need to put you need to push it otherwise but you know you you're right as you as you were talking about uh getting out of the comfort zone moving to london you know at such a young age you didn't even register but of course it's it, it, you know a um to be honest it felt like a very natural thing to do uh, you know at the time um mm-hmm. but i guess you know at 19 there's a lot of things reckless spring that you do thinking that it, you know that the most natural things you do in a, uh but yeah it was definitely a, a um a way of pushing myself to you know to achieve something yeah it's good about the future do you have some vision some dreams for uh, let's say your personal life or working life or you have some ideas how to i don't know maybe serve serve better the world you know through your realization self realization well i um definitely in terms of the um the short term plan is to 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 grow what i do uh, i mean although my uh, you know my business has been has been going on for the you know for over five years uh, i feel that it's still not mature and not settled mm-hmm. um so there's a lot of new opportunities that come up and lots of lots of new things so definitely is to keep on growing keep on growing what i'm doing um keep on you know uh, catching opportunities and developing mm-hmm. op- and exploiting opportunities um on the on the long term i am you know i'm conscious that i um you know i i, I haven't i haven't learned why i was born just yet so definitely mm-hmm. is learning you know is learning that you know that part um as someone told me once is you know there's two the two very two important days uh in in you know in the life of a of a human being you know is the day you're born and the day you realize why right? exactly um so I'm, i'm still i'm still trying to find the why um mm-hmm. so i guess once once that be clear uh, i've managed to have a you know a better long term plan um mm-hmm. but definitely you know uh on uh, definitely retiring as soon, uh, as early as possible and 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 enjoying my uh you know uh my life at some point well i'm still i'm, I'm already enjoying my life i enjoy my life with my with my feet in the sand hmm? um uh, at some point um but yeah that, uh, surely finding out why the why would help me have a, a more yeah, the, plan yeah the why is not easy eh the why to give us the way you know is is not easy eh? mm-hmm. because uh, you know the why also have this kind of uh, structure no you have yeah. you have two 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 road no this direction or this direction what we can do and uh, how i can express the best of myself through my talents and to yes and to feel good and uh, to you know during this journey yeah hey, no, it's not it's not easy but mm-hmm. we are young you know we have a lot of time in front of us <laughs> You know, it's important that every morning say, okay, why, point, 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 okay, tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> no, not like this, but uh, it's an important thing, uh, of course, to have uh, the idea that we are here every day to, through our action, also to express the why, no? A problem, mm-hmm. you know, is to, is maybe the, the why is, is the journey, I don't know, is, who knows? maybe i don't know i sense that mine is is going to be something about people it will be about people i mm-hmm. need to i just need to you know understand what is it about people but it will be mm-hmm. something related to people it's good um, yeah yeah but for sure uh one, one day i think that you will save the lights you know mm-hmm. the light may not something uh the wow moment This is why, you know, and uh, after why well, you can analyze all your energy in this direction. And all be clear. Yeah. Yes. 
Yes. You know, history exactly. is full of people that uh, have this kind of situation, no? under the tree or on the road, or one city, there's a light, and uh, mm -hmm. they discover the, 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 the direction. Uh, cool. Uh, this question, if you have, uh, in this moment, all the time that you need and all the resource that you need, what you do? Imagine that you have infinite time and infinite resource, okay? What, what, tomorrow, what do you do with all this time and resource? Well, uh, you know, today, I would tell you definitely, I, I would go for a long, long journey. Um, uh -huh. and, I would and I would travel a lot because it's something, and I'm traveling, a lot, I'm very lucky because I'm traveling a lot for work. You know, I come to Hungary, I go to Italy. Um, and I moved around, you know, London and England for all of the lockdown. So, mm -hmm. you know, I'm lucky, but it's a very different traveling from, mm -hmm. you know, from traveling. Um, yeah. so, you know, if uh, answering this question now, it would be definitely going, you know, on a, on a round the world travel. Mm -hmm. Um, means that you have a, the, the desire of discover you, you, uh, that, mm -hmm. Uh, I love traveling. I love traveling on my own um, and meeting people and, uh, and you know, making new experiences. Uh, mm -hmm. It's something that I always enjoy uh, doing um, and that I haven't been able to do, you know, for, for the last, uh, for, for the, at least for the last 12 months properly. So definitely mm -hmm. it would be that. Uh, I don't think that I could travel, you know, full time. Um, I, I love what I do and I love working. So I think it will, I would miss uh the relationship with you know with people and um uh that that i've got through my work so but but uh, for you know for, for, for a good 12 to 18 months i will probably go around traveling yeah um yeah because I, the, the world is a sphere no that if you in some way you will come back always you, you come direction. back exactly <laughs> means that <laughs> okay uh, the last question, imagine that uh, uh, today uh, you meet uh, teenagers, imagine that it's like you when you were teenagers, okay, mm -hmm. teenagers, and uh, through your experience now, which kind of advice you want, you want to give to these teenagers, you teenagers? What, to, to me as a teenager or, or to the teenagers of today? Is uh, in general, but it makes, me, it makes me feel so old, this question, you know that, right? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but, okay, but uh, <clears throat> it's uh, only to uh, imagine yourself with your mm -hmm. mind when you was a teenager, not that you was a rebel, no, you was there, no. and uh, imagine that you that you are this this mentality of uh, like when you are teenager and but now with your experience what you tell to yourself teenagers you know that you don't know each other okay mm -hmm. but uh, because it's something like a time travel no you take a time travel you go back uh, you know mm -hmm. in, uh, when uh, when uh, you was somewhere in italy or uh, and uh, you meet your you met yourself, no? There, and you want to give to yourself one good advice. What, what you? Okay. What you do? Stay. Well, I mean, I um, I don't know. I don't have. You know, I'm. I'm I think I'm lucky enough not to. Um, and I'm, I'm, I might sound very full of myself now, but I, I um, I, I don't feel I've got any regrets. Mm -hmm. uh, for, for things that I've done. So I will, you know, if I had to go back and advise and advise myself, uh, I would probably advise myself to, you know, to, to, to do what I did, to, to keep an open mind and to try and to try new things. Of course, you know, I made, I made mistakes. I made plenty of mistakes, but I think even the mistakes that I've, that, that I've made have helped, have helped me, have helped me, you know, shaping uh, the rest of my life. So mm -hmm. I would probably, you know, even make the same mistakes. Um, party just as much, you know, do, do the same. Uh, the only, you know, is the, um, if I could have, if I could have a double life, uh, I would have, I would have, you know, started working as early as I did, mm -hmm. uh, because it, it gave me a lot of experience and, um, and you know, and, and, and I love my job. 
but if I could do that as at the same time as going to uni and um and 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 having a degree, um, mm-hmm. that would be you know that would definitely be something I I, I love to do. Um, so that's the only I'm not saying it's a regret, but that's the only thing that I'm missing that I would like to you know to get in my life is to to have gone to have gone to uni. Um, mm-hmm. Uh, not rather than done what I did, but as well as doing, you know, doing what I've, what I've been doing. Means that you are you are happy, no? That you just met yourself in, in mm-hmm. the past mentally. <clears throat> it was a good conversation. <laughs> it was a good conversation. <laughs> Great. I, I, w- I would tell him to study, like my parents always told me. You know. <laughs> ah, really? Study more. <laughs> study more. You know that this kind of this thought probably I. It also for me, you know, that <clears throat> maybe I, at that time I, I underestimate some kind of uh, um, studying something, you know, because normally uh, school, you jump in the school, what um, in the direction that, oh, I like, maybe I, I jump, you jump inside in some direction, but you are not sure that this is your way, you know, because... Mm-hmm. Maybe you follow the advice from the others. Maybe you choose the school more more close to your or, or your city or your house. Mm-hmm. It means that uh, uh, probably also I I underestimate at that time. I underestimate the how is important to choose the right uh, let's say the, uh, way of the education. You know, It's because this gives you. Have an important imprinting for the for the future means uh, in any case I think that uh, maybe you need to listen more your heart <laughs> than your brain maybe for this kind of uh, decision I think uh, yes thank you so much it was it was a, a very interesting good conversation with you and of thank course. You. You know that uh, we are here waiting for you when everything is, uh, is back uh, open. And let's take a good uh, chin-chin together and share we other good do. thoughts. We okay. should do. Uh, I'll hopefully be, uh, be around in, in, in May at some point for some openings. Mm-hmm. But I'll, uh, and, uh, I'll and also because you need, you need to tell me some your opinion about the book. Because you exactly. are, uh, let's say, I think... Uh, proud uh, uh, owner of one good book, uh, How to Win the Game of Life. A very good book. <laughs> and and uh, yes, I want to also listen from you, your opinion. I'll, and, I'll, your fa- and your favorite chapter, of course. <laughs> I, I, will give, I will give you a, a full review of a, of a bottle of wine and, uh, yes. and, uh, and, and, ta- and tell you my favorite chapter. I think that's yes. a very good plan. Thank you so much. I, I already have in my mind this. Uh, great. Thank you so much. See you soon. And thank, thank you, you for your time. Okay. Thank and you. Your, thank you for the opportunity. Patient. Thank you. Ciao. Thank you. Speak See you soon. soon. Ciao, ciao. ciao.